Welcome back to another episode of our family adventures. I'm Kurt. And I'm Jen. And we have two boys, Lucas and Logan. In January 2021, I quit my job, we sold our dream home, and we moved into our self-converted van. Together we said goodbye to our family as we dove headfirst into uncharted territory. In this episode, we get our van back after the dealership damaged our rocker panels during a routine oil change. Then we hit the road running to meet up with our good friend Rob from Overland Generation. Together, we find a place to sled without snow in the middle of the desert, but then quickly strike out more than once in the Gila National Forest. However, in the end, we hit a home run and finally get what we came for. We got Big Red back! Yay! As much fun as we've had cruising around town and this little sucker. Um, I'm so happy to have our van back in one piece. It looks like all is intact and nothing's missing. I don't see any new dents. I think they actually did a pretty decent job of taking care of us and kind of put us a top priority here. So after putting us up in a hotel for a week and giving us the rental car, finally got Big Red back. Hopefully this is the end of our bad luck. You know, things tend to come in threes. We had the Red Arc our first week. We had our heater go out and then we had this major issue. So let's keep our fingers crossed that we can kiss all that bad juju goodbye and get on with the show and get on the road. I can smell it. It still smells like fresh paint. It won't take too long before that gets dirty. Let's check the other side here. That was an expensive mistake. I feel bad for the dude who uh, did it. Or do I? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe he learned a lesson. <laughs> Hang on a second here. What's up, man? What you get on there? Get my new duds on, man. You got fishies on your shirt. Yeah, get my new duds. <laughs> I like it. Thanks. Cool. I clean up all right. I okay, see what happens when we spend too much time in the city. I'm telling you, we, we gotta start, get out of here, man. <laughs> we start looking like city slickers. Yeah, get back in the woods. Oh, dear. All right, well, we gonna get all our stuff put back in Big Red here and eat one more yummy meal while we're in the city and can take advantage of that. And then we're back in the woods or desert. See y'all soon. All right, we got our van back. I am so stoked to be back in Big Red. So we are at the White Sands National Monument in New Mexico, and this place is pretty crazy. It's beautiful. We've got this white, crystal clear sand. And it's a beautiful day. It's not too hot. We got us a sled. We're gonna go have some fun. And the best part of it all, we're in good company. We got our good friend, Uncle Rob here with us from Generation Overland. So, let's go have some fun.
that was really neat. Really enjoyed running up and down the sand dunes and sledding and seeing all the cool vegetation. It's hard to believe these dunes move as quick um, as they do. Where one is right now, probably, you know, a few months to a year from now, it might not be there anymore. It's pretty neat. But the uh, clouds have rolled in, and I'm thinking it's going to be a pretty epic sunset. So we're going to just hang out here in the parking lot and make a quick little dinner and then wait for the sun to set. How is that, Daddy O? It's pretty spot on. Thanks, babe. Does it hit the spot? <laughs> Your favorite? Locks with a twist? Oh, yeah. They're gonna mm. hold you over. Yeah. So you don't get For ten minutes or something. Yeah. Don't get hangry on me. All right. Oh. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> to take it all in it's moments like these that you try to savor till every last little bit of daylight is gone not bad for a Monday night all right what a difference a day makes I'm still recovering from all that fun sledding down sand dunes yesterday at White Sands. We are now in the Gila National Forest, or Gila, Gila. I'm not really sure what the proper pronunciation is. If you know, drop a comment down below, please. Um, we had a little bit of trouble trying to find a campsite here. The drive down is a long one, 30 some odd miles, I think, back kind of tucked into this area and it's one way in one way out so it's a bit of a haul to get here and there are lots of camping opportunities but um maybe not the best sites that you would choose or your first choices and from what we read what really drew us out to this area were the abundance of hot springs now a lot of these hot springs have been privatized so it's a campground slash hot springs uh, combination we went to one, it was full, she's booked out for about the next month. I went to the other one, there's only one tub, and she only had one spot available, and just for primitive camping, it was gonna cost close to 40 bucks for us and Rob, plus the kids, and then another um, 20 bucks, I think, for all of us to use the hot spring tub. So we said, nah, there's free camping on down the road. There are some options to hike to for hot springs, which we might just pull the trigger on one, but there is known amoeba in one of them that causes the brain eating. Um, 
disease. So I'm, <laughs> I'm a little on edge with that, just with the kids being unpredictable. I, I think it's safe as long as you don't submerge your head. Um, that's what I've read and done some research on, but you're just still knowing that it's in there kind of freaks me out. So instead, we have found a spot kind of tucked off of the road here. And I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. So since we're here, I thought I'd show you a little bit of our routine now once we actually get to camp and we know we're going to stay here the night. There is a little bit of setup for the night to get things um, comfortable and spacey. So here's what we do. First step, clean the kid seats. It took us about maybe three hours to get here. So almost undoubtedly there's always stuff in the way that we gotta pick up. All right, second step, we're gonna get the seats removed. So we take this and we put it up here in the front driver's seat. Second one. And then the third step is to fold the seat up. And that part's done. All right, now we're gonna swivel around the passenger seat. And that's pretty much it. So just takes a couple minutes. It's really not a big deal, but it opens it up like no other. It makes a whole new space out of this area so that we can actually move about and not run into each other. So that's it. Now I think we're gonna go explore around outside a little bit. I'll show you the campsite for the night. Maybe gather some firewood and probably figure out what we're gonna cook for dinner. This is the um, that Will always tries to talk me into. Lodge. Yes, sir. Oh, the, the, brand? the lodge, yeah. Is that what I guess with this? Shout is? out Sir William. Yeah, yeah. He always tries to talk me into that. What's good, man? Fish taco. Hang on, yes. I think we talked him into lodge. Did, did you? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Probably. Good stuff. Mm. That's right. Probably got enough for everybody. You want to dig mm. in? Yeah, I might have a little. You can have a couple. You got a fire. You guys get what you get. Nice. Yes. Yeah, you nice little spot. Yeah. As we devoured those fish tacos, we spent the rest of the night in deep conversation, chatting around the campfire and catching up with Rob, or Uncle Rob, as the kids refer to him. You know, we've met some pretty awesome company during our travels. And it still amazes me, no matter how remote we may find ourselves, we always seem to find a way to connect with others. A real connection. It's funny. When there's no cell service or screen of any kind to occupy your mind, it's amazing what you stop doing and start paying attention to. It's a bit of a misnomer, I think, to call social media social when it really tends to keep us from connecting face to face. These distractions ultimately do just that, distract. Although we were about to strike out yet again in the Gila National Forest, at least for the night, in the moment, it felt pretty awesome just to connect and truly be present.
Well, it's just like being given part of a cookie and being told that you can only eat one bite. We can't go in. Um, I guess because of COVID, things are still roped off. There's nobody up here. There's no rangers or anything. Um, but there are signs that say do not enter and follow the rules. Really wish we could go in there. It's a little disappointing, but what are we going to do? All right, y'all, definitely not what, ex what we expected here um, in Gila National Park. Quite a bit of a drive to get back in here. No hot springs, but that could be our fault. Definitely, we didn't make a reservation. So if you come out this way and you want to go to the hot springs, you definitely need to make a reservation. There is a couple that you can hike to as well. Definitely look into that. The cliff dwellings was pretty neat but due to COVID you can't get inside so kind of another disappointment no cell service um, which isn't a huge deal but um, just just not feeling it here uh, just maybe it's just because of COVID or whatever but um, so we're gonna move on we're gonna get some service figure out what's next and uh, go from there well I think we finally got a win under our belts. As you can tell, we are in some more natural hot springs. So we have found Faywood Hot Springs um, Campground and Resort. It is a clothing optional or clothing required uh, resort. They have campsites that are also clothing optional and clothing required. Same for the tubs and the pool, so they're kind of separated here. Um, but we got lucky. We kind of came in on a whim and last minute picked up a site. So we're going to spend a couple nights here and enjoy these warm waters since we struck out earlier this week up in the National Forest and just relax. I think I'm okay spending a few bucks here. So they do have tent sites that are primitive. They've got RV sites with full hookups and they've also got cabins for lodging as well. Um, and it's pretty affordable. It's nothing crazy. So definitely check that out if you're in this area. Um, we just got here and made a beeline straight for the tub. So we're going to sit back, relax, and enjoy ourselves. Literally. Sweet Springs. Them. Yeah, that's what they call them. The sweet Springs. Yeah. And why, why is that? Well, I, they're the ones with no odor. Even better. Yeah, the sweet Springs. You know, it does smell kind of sweet to me, actually. Like, mm. I don't know if it's something that they add to the water, but. Because, you know, some of them, most of them smell like sulfur or whatever. All right. Yeah. So we got three pools on both the clothing and the clothing optional side, and they're all kind of, um, very similar in shapes and sizes. And this is the third one up here. It's hot. It's very hot. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I'm just standing in this one. It's hot. I don't want to sit down. I think some lady told me it was about 107 degrees. I feel like bees are stinging my legs and my feet. Whew. Yeah, I gotta get out. Where are you going? It's hot. How hot? It's not as bad as that other one. I'd say 105, 106. So that one's like 107, 108. All right. Let's I'd say 104, 105 actually. Check out the other side again. We're on the nudie side. But we checked it out beforehand. And there's nobody here. Cool. 
It's still know. pretty hot over there. Nah, that's that's nothing. That's good. What do you boys think? That's probably like perfect. It's nice. That, that one's yeah, good. that one's too hot. After soaking for most of the afternoon, we soon became waterlogged and headed back to camp just in time to make dinner, let the kids play, and then promptly put them to bed at sundown, along with the cameras as well. The night sky was starting to pop, and we were longing for some kid-free time. So we headed back to the warm water, covered by a canopy of stars, and really soaked up the experience. Good morning. What a beautiful way to start our day. We spent a majority of last night in the tub under the stars. Saw about three shooting stars. Maybe a questionable satellite. Not quite sure. No UFOs. Um, well, this morning we got up first thing for a quick dip here. They're about to clean the tubs out. So we've got about 10 more minutes, but we had some visitors, some peacocks and some peahens. I think I've looked it up, but I don't remember when they were at our place. Hey, little guy. You're so pretty. What a treat. This is really neat. I'm, uh, pretty satisfied with our decision to come here so far. It's actually exceeded my expectations based on what I saw on the internet anyways. Mm -hmm. And the fact that they had some availability for us, um, kind of unplanned is just another win-win. So maybe all those things in Gila didn't work out for a reason. You drove us here. Hey girl, you trying to drink my coffee? No, that's not good for peacocks, I would imagine. <laughs> so we actually liked it so much just within the first couple hours of being here that we went up to the front desk and asked if we could stay a second night so i am very excited to say that we'll be able to sit under the stars bathe and soak for a second time tonight so today i think we're just going to kind of try to relax probably get a little bit of schoolwork done with the kids um maybe walk around a little bit so apparently up this hill and out the gate, there is a labyrinth and a rock chair or some other kind of stone formation. So before it gets too hot here today, we're gonna go venture out and see what that's all about. Forgot to mention, we got kicked out of the pool because they're cleaning it. So it's nice to know they actually drain the tubs fully and then they pressure wash it uh, at least once a week. They don't add any chemicals to the water. It is truly a natural hot springs. And down here they're actually called sweet springs and you can smell it. Um, it lacks the sulfur in it so these don't smell like rotten eggs. And as a matter of fact, I think it really does smell sweet. The first time we got in there I actually thought it was like some old lady's perfume or lotion or something, but nope. That's just the springs himself. Pretty cool. And it's gonna take about two hours to fill the tubs back up, so we will check back later today. Look at what you're doing over there. Out rolling. Off roading? Yeah. Well, you're definitely off the trail. On top of spiky things. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, this is pretty neat. It's a stone circle? with a big old chair. I guess you can just lounge around. Uh, it's pretty cool though, man. We're up here on the hill. We got 365 degree views. 360. 360 degree views. Um, yeah, 
This is kind of cool. Cool. Come yeah. on. I want to show you something. Okay. Suki Power Bear Power Bee. mementos, shells and rings and little figurines, trinkets and whatnot. So yeah, this looks like a pretty cool place to come up and meditate or just focus inward, enjoy nature and the beautiful scenery here. It's beautiful up here. Apparently we can't read maps and we found another hidden pool, a uh, couple tubs down here. These are clothing optional, but there's nobody in there already. I just checked, so check this out. This is pretty dope. Clothing optional. Ah! You've got a hot, see that up there? That says hot. A hot tub or hot pool rather this is a cooler pool um, up there it says cool plunge and that is a foot wash so you don't get the main tubs nasty and this one is very hot and then at night these canopies roll back so you can see the stars So this is pretty awesome. I thought the other side was pretty cool, but this one's even better too, I think. And you got some loungers over here so you can hang out, kick back, watch the stars at night. See if we can't make it back here tonight after the kids go to bed. Shh. You guys, I even just stumbled upon this clubhouse. Get out of here. I thought this was a cabin or something for rent. This place is pretty neat. They got all kinds of stuff in here. They even got bathrooms, a whole library full of cool things. Um, I think over here they got some stuff for kids. Some remnants of Easter. Fireplace. Exercise ball. Win, win. This place is pretty neat. Yeah, it's going to be hard to leave this place. For what you get in the price. Just the waters alone. Um... Yeah, this place far exceeds my expectations. Yeah, one other thing I don't know if I mentioned already or not is that they do have private tubs for rent. Some are small, some are bigger. I think there's like a total of 14 or better. So there's quite a few. I don't know what the prices are on those though. And um, I'm not sure if that's included with any campsite or whatnot. But just so you know, there's that option as well. These uh, tubes behind me rather this is where the mineral water the hot springs are actually stored and from the road it really doesn't look like much it just kind of looks like an eyesore really to be honest it's not until you get up here and you're actually in all the thick 
pickets and the, they do have brush. It feels very private. See the little male boys? He, didn't have, he just barely got a little feathers. See, this is a mature one. I'm literally face to face with a peacock. Peahen, rather. This is crazy. Hi there. Hello. Don't peck me. Please. 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 <laughs> All right, another day down, another great day on the road. We are not at the hot springs anymore. We're actually just outside of that area. We're up 180 at Leopold Vista. This view is amazing. So another amazing view, another great sunset. We are leaving the hot springs, feeling refreshed, kind of revitalized, um, ready to get on the road and head north to a little bit cooler weather. It is getting warm down here. There's not much that I can say will top sitting in natural hot spring watching the stars over at night. Um, those are moments that I'll never forget and some of my favorite memories I think so far of us being on the road. Hopefully, fingers crossed, no more bad juju with the van. Um, everything seems to be fixed and working properly. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share our videos with your friends and family. Until then, you guys, thank you so much. We'll catch you guys on the next one. And don't forget to hit the bell. Yeah. Don't forget to hit the bell. That'll yeah. notify you when we have our next video. Yeah, ding dong. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, Logan. Peace.